Hello beautiful people, welcome to Keep Fit Simple, keeping fit simple for busy mommies. I am Brie, if you don't already know, I have a lovely 11 month old going on one year already eek, this next month. And so I wanted to share with you guys my 10 labor and childbirth affirmations. These are also very awesome for during the pregnancy process. And they really help to ease your spirit when there's a spirit of worry or doubt, whatever it may be. These are so helpful. They've helped me so much. And I want to share these with you. So the first one comes from 2 Timothy verse, excuse me, chapter 1, verse 7. And the affirmation that I came up with, these are kind of like just little tidbits, little chunks of these scriptures that I kind of reworded for myself so that I could know them and read them, understand them, and just kind of like hold on to them without them being so long or anything like that. So, number one, the first one says, God didn't give me a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. The second one is, the pain that I am feeling, because <laughs> I'm feeling it, cannot compare to the joy that's coming. That comes from Romans chapter 8, verse 18. I feel like that's so accurate, right? Because you're going to feel some pain. <laughs> Maybe a lot. It's different for everybody. You're, well, you're going to feel pain. Yep. But it's do, it doesn't compare to the joy that's coming. And it doesn't have to be as bad as we think it's going to be. Proclaim life over you. So the next one says, perfect love drives out fear. Christ is in me, so fear has to flee. So if I have perfect love inside of me, if God is in me and he's perfect love, then fear has no place inside of me. And that's, these are great for just every day, you know, to speak life over yourself as well. So this comes from 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. And the next one is, God is standing with me, giving me strength. I draw strength from him. And that comes from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 17. How beautiful that we draw our strength from God. And that's not from ourselves. We can do this. Mama, you can do this. Your strength comes from God. Draw from him. It's yours. You own it. You have access. And the next one is a very well-known one. It's lovely. It's the truth. It's the word of God. All of this is. It says, I can do all things. Through Christ, He provides strength for me. That comes from Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. Okay, so we are on the sixth one now. I numbered these. And they're kind of like chicken scratchy. <laughs> I need to laminate them. That would be great to laminate them, to have some type of cards to use for every childbirth. That would be amazing, right? So that's a great idea. Try that. Maybe Pinterest has some ideas for you on how to laminate them. I would probably just put duct tape over them, like the clear tape on both sides. But, you know, there's ways to laminate them too. So this next one, number six says, God is holding my right hand. He is with me. I will not fear. That's from Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13. If God's holding my right hand, he's right here with me. He's guiding me, he's in front of me, and he's he knows the way. So if I trust in him, I'm going to be okay. He's got me anyway. Okay, I'm looking for the next one. <laughs> I got lost. So number seven is, hi baby. <laughs> number seven is strength and courage are mine. For God is with me here and now. Right here, right now, God here is with you. It's from Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Number 8 says, Because my hope is in God, my strength is ever renewed. My strength is always renewed. So when you start to feel weary in your pregnancy, you start to feel weary in your childbirth, in the laboring, then read this. Memorize this. Start memorizing them now if you're pregnant so that when it comes time to labor, when it comes time to push your baby, you're just thinking about these scriptures here in your mind. You have something to go to, some, some, some encouragement to draw from, you know? Because God is my hope. In God is my strength. 
my strength is always and ever renewed. That comes from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. So we're on to our last two. Excuse me. I love him. Okay, boy. It's because I'm talking and he wants attention. He wants me to be talking to him. It's so funny. All right, so the nine, number nine, the ninth one is, I give God my every anxiety right now and how I'm doing. Wait, wait, wait. Let's run that back. I give God my every anxiety right now. He cares for me and how I'm doing. I missed a piece in there. He cares for you. He cares how you're doing. Give it over to him. Cast all your anxieties on him. Cast all your cares on him. Just give them over because he cares for you and he will take care of them for you. That comes from 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. And our last one is... <laughs> okay, our last one comes from Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. And it says, I will think only on what is excellent and praiseworthy, the birth of my child and the love that I have for him or her. Because we can get so sidetracked and we can get really discouraged. I know when I was starting to push out my son, I was really discouraged. I was like, I can't do this. Oh my gosh, this is hard. But I had to think different thoughts. I had to think better thoughts because I knew that God was with me. He gave me the strength to push him out and that I could do it because I had his strength inside of me and I just needed to accept it, hold on to it, tap into it and use that strength. And so I said, you know what? Uh -uh -uh. I can do this. This boy has to come out. He's coming out and I'm pushing him out. Lord, you are with me. Let's do it. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and so here he is beautiful and as healthy as can be a happy little baby but these are beautiful scriptures to remember to memorize to start memorizing now if you're in your pregnancy write them down and um, I should be having them up on my website come January so that you guys can go and check those out and I will let you guys know when those when that website is up as well so that you can Look over and have your scriptures or you can just write them down and start your own little lamination process of your cards or whatever, you know, that works for you. But please let me know if these were encouraging for you. If you loved these scriptures, thumbs up. If you want more tips like this and more scriptures for childbirth or children or motherhood, please subscribe and let me know how I'm doing. Love you guys.